Hi, my name is Octavia Robinson, and the theme for this month is don't give up. Have you ever experienced feelings where you just wanted to throw in the towel and give up? We all have. Giving up is something that we must fight daily. Easier said than done, right? Well, I want to remind you that God is faithful and able to bring you through any situation that you may go through. I want to share a personal story of what it looks like when you don't give up. My oldest son, Jalen, runs track and was all set to run his 400 race at a track meet. As a starter pistol goes off, he takes off running and he takes the first 100, it's coming up the second and he looks good. But then we look over and we see there's another young man who looks just as good and is running with just the same amount of energy as my son. And at this point, we got a race. The crowd stands up, we're all cheering, and we're so excited because we honestly don't know who's going to win this race. At this point, my son is pulling past him, and then the young man pulls past my son, and they continue this way as they are running towards the finish line. As they're barreling towards this finish line, my son missteps, falls on the track, and slides across that line, coming in second place. Now, at that point, what place he came in didn't matter. My son was hurt, and as any mother would do, I got ready to go see about my baby when my husband says, wait, wait, don't do that. Let's just see what he does in this moment. Well, the reason he was saying that is his next race was the 200 immediately after this race. He didn't have time to sit in his feelings or to say, you know what, I'm not running. I just fell in front of everybody. I'm embarrassed. I'm legitimately hurt. He was bleeding. He had open wounds on his shoulder, his elbows and his knees, and he had an abrasion on his face. He really could have sat in that. Or he could have said, you know what? I'm going to run the next race. At this moment, the crowd is watching because he's hurt. And we're watching his parents to see what he'll do in the moment. Well, he pulls himself up. He wipes himself off, still bleeding, and he walks towards the 200 start line. In that moment, the starter pistol goes off and he runs so fast that there is a huge gap between himself and the other runners. And yes, he comes in first place. But again, that doesn't matter. What was so impressive and what the people would say to him as they he would walk by was we're so happy that you didn't give up. You did so well that they were encouraging him. Listen, challenges, disappointments, and hurts happen. They are a part of our daily lives. But there is a God who is so faithful and so good that you never have to face them alone. Let me ask you, what do you do when disappointments happen? John 16, says, so you have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice and no one can rob you of that joy. How amazing is it to know that the joy that comes from the Lord is something no one can ever take away from you. You can stand on that. How do you keep grinding on and off the field? John 15, 9 says, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. You simply have to receive his love. God's love is unconditional. He loves you. You just need to believe it. You want to know the secret to performing well when your tank is empty? Well, John 16, says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on this earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Lay in the peace that he gives you because he's already done it for you. And you want to know how to stay focused on your purpose? Well, John 15, 7, 8 says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings great glory to my Father. Listen, when you remain in Him, 
when you remain in his love and when you remain in his word, you become unstoppable. So don't give up because you got this.